Welcome to Sheffield Dog Fest. And And welcome to Abidal Picture House. This is amazing. I'm very happy to be here with you. And it's been nine days now. It's the ninth day, day of the festival. And I'm very emotional, as I think everyone in the team is. I'm looking at Melanie here, and I know everyone is. Um, it's been a ride, and I was coming back here because I had to go home, put a dress to look better. And, and I was coming back and looking at the city because it was high, so I was looking at the city. There were the hills around. And I was thinking, first, it's amazing to see Sheffield under the sunshine. It's quite incredible, yes. And, and second, seeing it surrounded by this beautiful landscape. And I was thinking, Dogfest is happening here and there are so many filmmakers and artists and people coming from one place to the other to see these things. And then I was like entering this movie, like a science fiction movie where there's a shield, you know, these like these force shields that in kids' movies the cities have to protect the, the city. And so I was thinking like, when artists and filmmakers and public get together, there's this strength that comes with it that is so powerful and that is really something that opens our heads and makes us feel more, at least makes me feel more uh, stronger and somehow more capable of coping with anything that comes. And so I hope you had a good experience in the festival. I am sure you loved some films and some works. I am sure you hated others, and that's great. But I really hope, most of all, that you felt this strength and the importance of people coming together to see together and to feel together the, the images and the sounds and the, the moments and the experiences that artists create for us, um, kind of cleans the air. So I want to thank the artists and the filmmakers who have brought their works from across the world. Those who are here, those who are not here, those who are online. Um, they really make our lives, I don't know if they are easier, but at least they are better. They are more complete. And yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> Uh, these nine days and tomorrow, we will continue tomorrow, there will be more films, exhibitions, talks, were full of activity. We didn't only have films and Q&As, we had exhibitions going on on site gallery in S1, in the Sheffield Hallam University Performance Lab, online in our arts program platform. We had talks online, and physical, we had workshops, we had school trips, we had collages being made by children, we had poetry readings, we had random conversations among people in the terrace of the showroom, and everything, all these things together made these days. And I really hope that, you know, we, there's a danger of seeing film festivals as some sort of ephemeral event that dies in itself, but really the only reason to make them is really to inspire a year of life and to continue. It's really to continue. So I really hope that all these things that happened and will continue happening kind of stay with us and bring other things that we will be forward to receive. I want to start by thanking people I want to thank uh, the team of Sheffield Dog Fest. It's huge. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> but most importantly, it's a team of people that 
are very seriously committed, are very solidar among each other, who welcomed me in an amazing way, who made me feel part of the family, and who have made all efforts to make you feel safe at home, to make you feel free also, and not too restrained by the current circumstances, and who have really, really dedicated a lot of thoughts and work and love to this festival. And it's always, always very important to remember that no one does anything alone. So, Sheffield Dog Fest is a really, really, really a big collective of people. And that is the main strength of the festival. And I do hope that that collective strength will inform the festival for many, many years more. I also want to thank the trustees of the board for the support they have given us and the challenging conversations because they help us think about what we're doing. And I want to thank a very important group of people that, that bring an energy that is unique, which are the volunteers of the festival. <laughs> to volunteer for a film and arts festival or to volunteer for culture and arts is to say that this is important, this matters, this is something that needs care and this, is, this belongs to everyone. And being a volunteer is stating, affirming, belonging. And this is something that gives me a lot of hope, regardless of who governs or who decides or, you know, all those things we know about. There are always people who really care and really put their hands and their thoughts and their imaginations into something that is important, that, that, that helps us, all of us. I also want to thank the audience of Sheffield Dog Fest, the public, those who do not have works in the festival, who are not friends of filmmakers and artists, or the team, and who come because they care, they are curious, they want to look, they want to see, they want to experience. I want to thank the public who has spoken to me and to the team who have come to us saying what they think and what they want. Uh, and I want to thank the filmmakers who came to Sheffield Dog Fest, who came to the city, because Traveling now is a challenge, and it's not just about movement. Physical movement is really about getting over so many challenges that we have lived in the past two years. So, yes, seeing them here was really, really, really inspiring and encouraging. So, thank you. You have all made us feel that it's, it's worth it. <laughs> and I want to thank the juries for the love that they put in watching the films, for the seriousness and the enthusiasm they have put in their discussions. They, being a jury in a festival is not just about, it's not really not about deciding what I like and what I don't like. It's discussing what, what is at stake. It's talking about what films can bring, what films can make to us. It's, knowing each other, it's about an encounter of different sensitivities and different imaginations and seeing where that can lead. And so it's a very powerful thing, very risky. Accepting to be on a jury is accepting a high risk. And so I really want to thank from the bottom of my heart for the time and, uh, and the risk that they have accepted to, to take. Finally, I want to thank our sponsors and the friends of the festival that have supported us and continue to support us, the Sheffield City Council, the BFI, the Arts Council, Welcome, Creative Europe, BBC Channel 4, BBC Studios Production Factual, Sheffield Hallam University, Site Gallery, S1 Showroom, and Abidel Picture House, the venues of our festival. Thank you very much. And the teams of the venues.
And now, because we have a big program and it will be increasingly better, I will call on stage Melanie Ardell, Deputy Director and Programmer, to help me announce awards. And I will start by announcing the Audience Awards. So the Audience Awards was voted by Sheffield people and by online people and it's an award that is really important. It's an award that it's also not about, I don't think it's really about only taste, it's really about connection, much more than taste, conversation, dialogue. What is the film that our audience had the strongest dialogue with. And the Audience Award goes to, uh, oh, sorry, I forgot to say, the Audience Award is spon sponsored by PBS America, to which I thank a lot. And it goes to Charm Circle by Nira Burstein. <laughs> and we have Nira and Betsy here. So I want to call on stage, Nira, is she here? Yeah? Good. <laughs> Betsy didn't come up. Okay. Hi, Betsy. Betsy did this with me, so let's give a clap for Betsy. Um, thank you so much for this or thank you for everyone that voted for the film. Um, coming here from the States was, you know, an ordeal to say the least, but even though my family, what the film is about, isn't here, I felt my family grow being here with everyone here. So um, thanks for the love. Thank you. Melanie, do you want to announce the Youth Jury Award? Yes, so for many years, I've been around 10 years and longer than I've been around, um, every year Sheffield Docfest has brought together uh, a group of young film enthusiasts, um, some budding filmmakers, some budding film writers, uh, together to discuss uh, some of the films in the selection, uh, to make the youth jury selection, uh, and to award uh, the youth jury film. And every year it's a selection of films that they're saying as young people aged between 18 and early 20s, uh, that it's a film, these are films that speak to them. Uh, and so the nominees for this year's uh, Youth Jury Award are Delphine's Prayers by Rosine Backham, Gallant Indies by Philippe Beziat, If God Were a Woman by Angelica uh, Cerbera, Splinters by Natalia Garaylald, the Inheritance by Ephraim Azili, and The Silence of the Mole by Anais Tarasina. And to uh, present the award, I'm really pleased to welcome on stage this year's youth jury, uh, Nasika Hadakurstu, Reba Martin, Gethin Morgan, Natalie Paterana, and Martha Robinson. Good evening, everyone. Um, it's lovely to be in such an amazing location after nine amazing days. And uh, on that note, we'd just like to quickly thank DocFest and everyone involved in pulling together the festival. It's just been such a wonderful time. And sort of um, particular to us, we'd just like to say a quick shout out to Owen and Mita who have just been so supportive um, for us along the whole process. Thank you guys. Um, as you've just seen, we've got six um, films that make up our list. 
It's a list that we're really proud of. It's one that spans multiple continents, uh, tackles a wide variety of themes and issues, and deploys a, a range of cinematic and storytelling techniques. Um, like I said, it's a list that we're really, really proud of, but it's also one that was very, very difficult to pick a single winner from. So it did take us a good while, but we did get there in the end. Um, and the one that we did choose just seemed to generate this extra bit of passion, the energy in the room, just we all seemed to connect together with it in a way that was just that little bit stronger than all the others. So I'm going to pass you on to Lafsika to talk about the film. Hello, yes, oh, and as Yathin said, it was really difficult to come to this decision, but we felt that this film, although we love all of our nominated film, is resonated the most with us because um, it speaks with very universal themes, um, like family relations and how to navigate them, and difficult human emotions that everyone deals with. And it's really about learning to accept each other and be non-judgmental, especially through the filmmaker's lens that was really discreet and loving. And it teaches compassion. And we feel like everyone who will watch this will learn something about this. And yeah, this is, we, it was such a pleasure to be invited in this family in the film. And yeah, it speaks to all of us. Yeah, um, the winner of the Youth Jury Award is If God Were a Woman by Angelica Cerveza. So just to say um, that we do have uh, a video uh, from Angelica, uh, the director If God Were a Woman. Uh, so to see her accept this award, if we can see the clip, please. Hello, Sheffield. Estamos aquí con parte del equipo. Muchísimas gracias a Sheffield por el primer premio que recibe la película y por tenernos en el festival. Muchas gracias a mi familia por hacer esta película posible y a los jóvenes por este reconocimiento. Thank to you, Sheffield audience and. And thanks to the audience and to the jury of the prize, we are very happy with this. See you. Thank you. Thank you. The youth jury. They were not just watching the youth jury films. I saw them in many, many other films. It was pretty brilliant. Um, and now we go to the Sheffield Dogfest Award for Best Short Film. It's sponsored by Guardian Documentaries. And it's an award uh, given to, so, uh, sorry, the nominees uh, are chosen among all the strands of the festival. And they are, Ancient Sunshine by Jason Livingston, Aphorisms of the Lake by Humberto Gonzalez Bustillo, Barataria by Julien Guyen Van Cui, Blue Sky by Lur Olaizola Lizarralde, Golden Flask by Jurgis Matulevicius Paulius Anikas, Homage to the Work of Philip Henry Goss by Pablo Martin Weber, Madnex Remis Remixed by Rea Storr, Shelly Belly in a Real Life by Cecilia Bengolea, The Branches I Hope, The Roots Are Memory by Sema Basharan, The World of Mindfulness by Ying Liang, The Year of the White Moon by Maxim Pechersky, and Tomorrow We'll See by Lorenzo Vitrone. The jury of the Shorts Awards is Theo Anthony, Agustina Comedi, and Elisa Lebo, and they will now announce a special mention and the Best Short Film Award. The jury wanted to give a special mention to a brilliantly realized speculative essay film that makes tensile connections with the broadest of ideas, just barely holding them together in one, in one place as they threaten to burst into a thousand pieces. Homage to the work of Philip Henry Goss by Pablo Weber is a gem of a film that matches the idiosyncrasies of its namesake with similar passion and implausibility. The award for the best short film will go to a film that quietly brings us a perfectly rendered dystopian vision. Without the need to overstate the case, its subtlety tells us 
that the future we fear, it's already here. A great documentarian brings the eye to a space allowing complexity to emerge without forcing it. It's an extremely difficult balance this director make, makes it seem effortless. We give the Sheffield Dog Fest Award for Best Short Film to Barataria by Julie Nguyen Van. So we have a special mention to homage to Philip Henry Goss by Pablo Martin Weber. And now we have Julie Van Cui uh, in a video thanking for the awards for Best Short Film to Barataria. Hello, everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, the jury and all the festival uh, for this award and uh, to, for this selection. Uh, I'm very, very proud and happy. I want to thank uh, all the staff for their warm welcome and, and their effort to, to, to make possible our participation despite uh, of the distance. I want to thank the festival in general because it's uh, the rare spaces uh, today where cineasts can show their film, uh, the rare spaces of liberty and they are very important. I want to thank uh, the protagonists of the film uh, for their confidence and their enthusiasm um, that made possible the film. It was a great adventure together. I want to thank all the people who worked on the film, especially my producers, uh, Louise and Jen and Jean-Marie Gigon, uh, that uh, they never, we, who never failed uh, in supporting the film. My editor also, uh, Rodolphe Mola, whose contribution uh, was decisive. In the film, uh, the inhabitants embody a discreet resistance to emptiness, uh, enjoying being together, keeping their singularities and their desire to play, um, and this lovely resistance that can be found everywhere in the world um, is never formulated as such, but it exists, and it deserves to be looked at. And in my film, I tried to show it without complacency, but guided by what I found inspiring, amusing, moving, strange in this ghost city and its people. I hope I succeeded, but uh, this award gives me the feeling that maybe yes, I did, which makes me very, very happy. So thank you. the Sheffield Dog Fest Award for Best First Feature, Melanie. Uh, so unlike the, award, the awards up to now, the Best uh, First Feature is a new award category for Sheffield Dog Fest dedicated uh, to awarding emerging talent uh, producing their first uh, feature of over 60 minutes uh, and the nominees come from across uh, the festival strands and they are Charm Circle by Nira Burstein, Factory, of, Factory to the Workers by Sardan Kovacevic, Fixed Barricade at Hammerdale Crossing by Thomas Bauer, from the Wild Sea by Robin Petra, If God Were a Woman by Angelica Cervera, Portrait of Kay by Ben Reed, Rancho by Pedro Speroni, Songs for the River by Charlotte Ginsburg, Summer by Vadim Kostrov, and The Quintessence by Pamela Breda. And the jury for the first Best First Feature Award are uh, Tio Anthony, 
Augustina Comedy, and Elisa Lebo, uh, who will now announce uh, first uh, a special mention, uh, and then uh, the winner of the first feature award. We first want to say how amazing and accomplished these first films were, and that the very rich pleasure they afforded us while watching and discussing them. These films inspired deep and far-ranging conversations amongst the jury. Uh, each of these films informed the other, and there was something in each that brought us to reflect around the practice and possibilities of cinema. When watching them, we looked towards films that embraced the urgency of this moment and raised the stakes with their innovative, formal approach. We'd like to give a special mention to a film that was simultaneously courageous, unsparing, and deeply loving. It's a film that boldly explores the nuances of family and doesn't shy away from the difficult emotional terrain of the director's own biography, building a complex and multidimensional portrait using her impressive cinematic eye. It's our pleasure to award Charm Circle by Nira Burstein with the special mention for Best First Feature. For the Best First Feature, we chose a bold film that does justice to the process of men enacting their own justice. The film skillfully and delicately maintains a tension between juridical protocol and collective memory with a rich formal language that enriches and expands that process without overdetermining its outcome. The Sheffield Doc Fest Award for Best First Feature goes to Fixed Barricade at Hondalaya Crossing by Thomas Bauer. So before we go on to hear from Thomas Bauer, I'd like to introduce back to the stage Nira Burstein, um, if you'd like to say a few words about the special mention uh, for the best first feature for Charm Circle. Nira? Thank you. I'm really getting my laps in. This is good. Um, I mean, this is awesome. Uh, I'm so bad with words now. Um, thank you to the jury who watched my film and um, felt the connection um, that we can make stories that are personal to us that have reached uh, more people. I always feel like the personal is universal. So. Thank you for embracing this film. Thank you. And to accept the award for Best First Feature for Fixed Barricade at Hammerdale uh, Crossing uh, is Thomas Bauer. Hi. I'm obviously very happy to receive this prize for the first feature film. It is a sign that I see from here and that I interpret as a thank you from the public, the jury, from an active audiences. I also have the pleasure of being able to pass on this prize to all the actors of the film we were trying to make active all this rehearsal that they carry out in the hope of making a first Guinean, Guinean trio that will recognize the violence committed by the Guinean state. It's a recognition of the quality of their work and their commitment that I have the pleasure to transmit to them through this award. I also want to uh, take this time to evoke the memory of Mr. Abbasba. He was a victim of the repression of the First Republic. He welcomed me, informed me, and made me love during the whole process of the construction of this film. Finally, I also like to evoke the memory of another activist who accompanied this film in its production through the association he shared, L'OGDH. I think uh, of Mr. Abdul Ghadir Diallo. I warmly, I warmly thank Sheffield, his festival, his director, Mrs. Cynthia Gill, and all the team, without whom all who work will not be visible, audible, 
and could not open to the sensitivity. Thank you again. And now we go to the Team Hetherington Awards. Uh, the Team Hetherington Awards pays tribute to the journalist Tim Hetherington, and I want to thank Judith Hetherington, and I also want to thank Dog Wolf, the sponsors of the award. And we have Judith Hetherington saying some words about the awards first. Hello everyone at Sheffield Documentary Festival. Um, good to be with you. I'm Judith Hetherington, Tim Hetherington's mother, Tim the photographer and filmmaker. Um, just a bit of background to the award. Tim was targeted and killed by pro-Gaddafi forces uh, in Libya at the Arab Spring. Um, on Tim's death, his family and, and ourselves um, set up the Tim Hetherington Trust to support young artists around the world and to make work like you're um, bringing to Sheffield documentary. Um, in addition, Tim's archive is, has now rests at the Imperial War Museum, including many journals and workbooks, and they're in the process of placing the archive online for research purposes. So have a look if you get time. Um, Tim himself was well documented. In an interview about storytelling, Tim mentions big histories and small histories. He may have been at the front, forefront and, and the scene of the big histories, but actually his attention was caught by the small histories, um, the sort of intimate, the personal, the unknown that makes up the richness of life. Um, each year I come to Sheffield Documentary to make Tim's award. Um, it's a very poignant place for us um, because it was at the festival that we met up with Tim for the very last time and we never saw him again. So it is really indeed a very important place for us. But it's also, when we come each year, it's also exhilarating and, and, uh, and, and, and enjoyable to be with all you young filmmakers and talk about Tim. So thank you. I'll now hand you over to the jury who will announce the Tim Hetherington Award. Thank you. But before the jury, thank you, Judy. Before the jury, I will um, list the nominees to the Tim Hetherington Award. So, Carlos Gone, The Last Flight by Nick Green, Courage by Alexei Paluyan, Dear Elnas by Maniac Bari. This Land is Our Land by Isael Machacali, Sueli Machacali, Carolina Cangusu, and Roberto Romero. Splinters by Natalia Garayalde. The Monopoly of Violence by David Dufresne. The Return, Life After Isis by Alba Sotorra Clua. The Silence of the Mole by Anais Taracena. And the jury, George Ponsa and Puja Hangan, will deliver a special mention and an award. I'm so delighted to have worked with George Amponsa to deliberate on the winner of the Tim Hetherington Award. Um, we have chosen both a film that we want to give a special mention to and a winner for the award. And they're both films that we felt really expanded our sense of what it means to investigate and inquire, what it means to produce films under conditions of danger, um, an urgency, what it means to inhabit the spirit of humanitarianism, um, and also films that really kind of made us investigate and think through what courage itself means. Um, and we wanted to give a special mention to This Is Our Land, um, which to quote something that George said, is a film that really kind of uh, made us both feel that we were alongside the Mashakali people that sort of eliminated our sense of any mediation, even as it was overturning everything that we were being shown about the consensus reality that the Mashakali live under. Um, 
and it, it's 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 a really incredible film and we encourage everyone to go out and see it thank you very much PJ. as uh, it's been a, a pleasure uh, deliberating over these films and um it's uh, i'm 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 very pleased with our choice for the tim hedrington award which is uh the silence of the mole which i think is a beautiful film that ticks all the boxes um uh, uh that puja mentioned earlier in terms of investigation uh, in terms of courageous filmmaking um for me i i think this film is actually a work of art which is uh, very meaningful for, for me because i, I made the uh, transition from art school into uh, and making films that act art school into making documentaries. Um, I think this is a film that really lives up to its title and um, uh, it's an amazing, uh, you know, formally um, what it's, it says about silence in films and the actual use of silence and the, the space in between words and the, the space in between sound. Um, and um, yeah, I, I, you know, I think the proof of the pudding is in, in the eating, and I would urge you all to watch this film. We have a special mention to This is Land is Our Land, a collective film by Zael Machacali, Sueli Machacali, Carolina Canguso, and Roberto Romero. And the award, the Tim Hetherington Award, went to The Silence of the Mole by Anais Taracena, Guatemala. And Anais. Hi, everyone. My name is Anais Taracena. I'm from Guatemala, and I'm the director of The Silence of the Mole. We are really, really happy for this award, and uh, we wanted to thank all the festival team that is giving life to the Sheffield Dog Fest, and they are giving the best to make it possible, even though we are in very complicated times. Um, I wanted to dedicate this award to all the journalists, especially those journalists who are risking their lives uh, to denounce all the injustice, the wars and the political violence. In, in many countries such as Guatemala, journalists are being criminalized today and they have been historically persecuted and murdered. But I think that we also must uh, honor and recognize the legacy of the journalist because all the information and the images that, that the journalists are, are creating today, in the future, those images are making part of the visual uh, um, heritage and the visual memory of the countries and the territories. And we, as um, filmmakers, and as a creators, in many times we are using those images and reinterpreting those images to try to understand the stories of our countries and our territories, but also to recreate and to create our own stories. Um, so really, really thank you for this legacy and thank you for this visual memory and thank you for this uh, cultural heritage. And now Melanie will announce the UK competition, which is an amazing competition that we invented this year, celebrating the UK films, and that I hope we will learn from, we will expand, transform, recreate, but we are really happy to have it. Melanie. Yeah, just to add, um, in launching the UK competition for the first time this year, um, which was, you know, born out of a kind of continued commitment uh, to supporting uh, homegrown productions. Um, though all the titles, all the 14 titles in the selection are all um, either UK productions or UK co-productions, um, that aside, the selection couldn't have been more varied in terms of length and style and form. So, the nominees are 
Ali and his miracle. Oh, sorry, no. First, we're going to watch a trailer, uh, which just gives you a little taster of the films in the selection. So, the nominees are Ali and His Miracle Sheep by Matham Ridder, Alive by Makeda Matheson, Court by Nicola May, Cold Stack by Frank Martin, Don McCullen, Almost Liverpool 8 by Daniel Draper and Alan Malia, In the Space You Left by Christine Saab, Madness Remixed by Rhea Storr, Portrait of Kay by Ben Reed. R.I.P. Shaney by Daisy Ifama, Songs for the River by Charlotte Ginsburg, The Battle of Denham Ford by Bradley and Bradley, The Elverman by Isla Badencock, The Quintessence by Pamela Breda, and The Return by Eriberto Gualinga. And the jury uh, for the UK competition uh, whose job it was to award both uh, a special jury award and a best film award. Uh, the jury are Ashley Clark, Wood Lynn, Kay Cosset, Leonard Telge, and Campbell X. And so to announce the special mention, uh, uh, to announce special mention and to uh, announce the winner of the Special Jury Award. I'd like to hand over to the jury on video. The UK competition jury give the special mention to the Battle of Dehan Fort. And uh, the UK competition Special Jury Award goes to Forte of K. So let's hear from Ben Reed, who is the director of Portrait of Kay. Hello, Sheffield. I'm going to make this very quick because I'm quite nervous. And so, uh, firstly, we were just amazed that our little film was selected to play in the festival and to uh, play in the UK competition. Um, and so, to be given the special jury award is uh, yeah, is a big shock and just kind of mind blowing for us. Uh, so. Firstly, just thank you so much to the jurors uh, for watching the film and for uh, giving us this award. And thank you to the programming team for Sheffield for programming the film in the first place. Um, a quick thank you to Hayley and Parrier, uh, our producers on the film. And lastly and firstly, uh, thanks to Kay, really, this award is for Kay for sharing her story uh, with myself and for sharing it with the world. So... This is uh, for Kay and for everyone at Sheffield. Um, thank you very much all. Uh, have a lovely evening. Uh, bye. And to announce the winner of the best film in the UK competition, I'll hand back to uh, the jury, Ashley, Wood, Keiko, Leonor and Campbell. The jury has decided to award the best film in UK competition to Ali and his Miracle Sheep. And to accept uh, the best film in UK competition award for Ali and his Miracle Sheep, um, let's hear from Matham Ridder. 
I am truly honoured to receive this award and thank you to my wonderful team who worked tirelessly to make this film in such difficult and dangerous circumstances. I really want to dedicate this award to the Iraqi people. 18 years ago, we were all deceived into believing that the 2003 invasion of Iraq was a war to liberate the Iraqi people. Sadly, our beautiful country was destroyed. Successive governments were installed, inept and corrupt. I am truly shocked every time I return there that 18 years on, there are still power cuts, water shortages, new poverty in what was once a rich nation, and illiteracy in what was once the most literate country in the region. There are generations like my protagonist in the film who have been damaged and traumatized. As children, they were forced by the harsh realities of the adult world to grow up too quickly. I had to formally train as a psychotherapist and a counselor to address this trauma as a director. Most of my family are still there, and whilst they patiently sacrifice, they rarely complain, thinking more about the suffering of others than their own suffering. It is this inner resilience that I want to continue to explore in my films. I hope that this award will help us to finish our next two feature length films there and to bring our stories as Iraqis to the rest of the world. Thank you Sheffield Dockfest and thank you to the jury for awarding us this wonderful honour. Thank you Melanie. Um, and so we go to the last group of awards, the International Competition Awards. Uh, the international competition is made of 11 films, all features, and here's the trailer. And so the nominees are Charm Circle by Nira Burstein, Double Layered Town, Making a Song to Replace Our Positions by Komori Aru Aruka Komori and Natsumi Seo, Equatorial Constellations by Silas Tini, Factory to the Workers by Sran Kovacevic, From the 84 Days by Philip Hartman, My Dear Spies by Vladimir Leon, this Land is Our Land by Zelma Shakali, Sualima Shakali, Carolina Cangusso, and Roberto Romero. Rancho by Pedro Speroni. Summer by, 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 sorry, by Vadim Kostrov. And This Tain Dawn by Anam Abbas. And White on White by Viera Chakaniova. The jury was composed, is composed by Karen Alexander, Inti Briones, Sergio Fant, Paula Gaitan and Hiroko Tazaka. They will deliver two special mentions and first, the special jury award for the international competition. Good evening. Uh, we, the jury, decided to award two special mentions from this international uh, competition. And the first, I'm very happy to announce, uh, goes to a uh, Japanese film, Double Layer Town, Making a Song to Replace Our Position, uh, by Komori Aruka and uh, Zeo uh, Natsumi. And this is the first special mention of this competition. And uh, the other special mention is for Vadim Kostrov for Summer. And International Comp Competition Special Jury Award goes to 
equatorial constellations. Clip. <laughs> equatorial constellations by Celestini. Dear friends, grammars, jury, and all Sheffield Dogfest team, I would like to express my gratitude and surprise for this important award. It is indeed a quite comforting, especially when I'm not able to be with you in my film's award premiere. I'm, gr I'm grateful to the programmers and all Sheffield team for allowing me to show this film on a difficult issue which remains almost forgotten. Me and my producers know very well the difficulties we went through to be able to concretize it. It was indeed a use of force where we fought, lack of means, time, and unpredicted situation imaginable. However, we always thought it is possible, both to have done, as well as making the film an inspiration for the history of Africa and Africans to be rewritten by their own hand. As for the jury that conceived me this prize, I want to express my gratitude in saying that it is more than a formal recognition for my work. I take it as a motivation, as a vote of confidence in an artistic path that me. As well, every other black filmmaker or artist decide to take it regardless of the access we have to the industry, financing or general audience to bring stories to the screen that contribute to the betterment of the world we live in. In Saint Tome, I learned with my ancestors that when our old tree dies, we stay poor because they take the memory of the entire period. As a black filmmaker, I believe we must witness not only the present, but also the memories of the past in order to be aware and available to contribute for a fraternal dialogue and a fair role. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. This is incredible because the two special mentions went to, and, and also this award went to really young filmmakers, uh, Vadim Kostrov from Russia, Aruka Komori and Natsumi Seo from Japan, and now Silastini from Santo Man Prince um, and Portugal. And now the jury will announce the award for the best film in international competition. It's a pleasure to be here and um, thank you very much. Uh, the best film in the international competition of the festival is This Land is Our Land. Essa Terra é Nossa Terra. It's a Brazilian film. And so we are very happy to announce this uh, prize today to the uh, indigenous nations of all the world. So we are very moved that th this film is a very important, in this exactly moment, is a very important work. And so the winner for the best film, the award for best film in international competition is This Land is Our Land by Sueli Machacali, Zael Machacali, Carolina Canguso, and Roberto Romero from Brazil. And here is Sueli Machacali. Queria falar que meu nome é Sueli Machacali. É, nós pensamos de gravar esse vídeo é, na Renhão. É porque é, nós, é, Machacali, todos os cantos preservou o nosso rituais e nosso canto e nossa memória. Ela, a memória nossa, ela está viva dentro dos pajés. A memória dos pajés sempre gravou né, as histórias, porque os cantos, ela preserva. A todos os passos que meu povo deu, Machacali, ele gravou é, na, no canto. Buscando o que conta a história toda. Aí os pajés, 
é, escolhemos de mostrar o lugar onde que era o espaço que ele deu, né, onde que a moradia é catabatia, né? Foi essa história que, que os pajés começaram a contar os, o, antigamente, né? E, e também, é, desde que nós era pequeno, né, nós já vimos vendo, ouvindo falar, né, é, eu não tinha oportunidade de ver catabatia de verdade, eu tinha oportunidade de ver catabatia por esse tempo que eu fui é, ver, é, de ir lá, né, para poder film, nós filmar e aonde é que teu teve oportunidade de estar tá vendo catabatia que a gente só via nos cantos e na história. Mas é muito importante porque com toda a violência que nós teve, por Machacali teve, nenhum momento eles deixaram de, de esquecer, de deixar de os cantos, né, se perder. Nenhum momento eles, eles deixaram perder, eles preservaram a, o nosso canto, precisa, ela é de cura e no mesmo tempo ele é, é histórico tá, também, que conta todas as histórias do povo machacali. E nosso povo são muito importantes. Esse prêmio não é meu, esse prêmio é do nosso povo machacali inteiro. Queria agradecer todo o povo de Minas Gerais e todo o povo também de outro país o que teve esse acesso, vai ter acesso ainda né, para estar tá vendo. É, meu povo machacali merece ser clareado, porque meu povo machacali estava no escuro e nunca também de pessoa dizer assim, que a demarcação nossa tem que ser cumprida. A demarcação nossa, nós estamos querendo território nosso de volta para o povo machacali. Porque o povo machacali tem a história e tem os cantos também, que é, está que dentro da gente. Tá, a mim está dentro de nós. A mim preserva a história. Vai te cá, um abraço. That's it. The awards are given. Congratulations to all the filmmakers who won and who did not win because all the films that were shown in this festival, I don't know what we think, you think about them, but we, those who programmed them and presented them, we love them all the same way and we stand for them all the same way. So thank you everyone. Now we will have 10 minutes break. I think 10 minutes, five? Well, seven. Seven minutes break. <laughs> and we come back because we go to the big moment of presenting our closing film with Mark Cousins and his team. Seven minutes break.